I wanted to wake up and, and be excited about work every day. And luckily I don't work. I get to play, I get to draw, I get to work in movies and TV. I get to work with incredibly creative people every day. I mean, it's the best thing I can imagine. So, you know, even though I, I seem to do a lot of different things, it's all kind of the same. I'm drawing and telling stories. I just have a lot of different mediums to do it in, and I'm lucky enough to be able to explore all that and do it. I've got two or three hundred people working on a film or a TV series, but everyone has a different image in their head when they read the script. So the storyboards become the blueprint that I pull out of the director's head. I visualize what the director sees in his head. Then I illustrate it. Now the entire crew looks at this and they go, oh, so we need to set up this shot, these actors need to be in it, this is the effects that's happening. So I'm literally illustrating the blueprints for production. So what's really changed is two things. This monitor and this software, it's taken six steps out of what we used to be able to do because before we would draw the storyboards on paper and then erase the lines and then scan it into a computer, take it into Photoshop, break it into, into different levels, take the levels into After Effects, move the things around in After Effects, export it out of there, take it into Premiere, and do the editing. If there was any one change, I have to go back to the beginning. Now, if the director says, you know what, let's take this hand and move this over here, I move it, and I hit play, and I'm done. We've never been able to work that quickly before. And you can see how fast it is. I just did an animated entire camera move in a couple seconds for you. You know, if I want to show, you know, a baseball flying through the air, I can actually take it. There we go. That quickly, I just animated the baseball flying across this guy's face. You know, I can draw literally right on here and export right out and send it digitally to anyone in the world in a moment. Uh, when, when I go on to a production and it's the first time I've worked with the director, without exception, every single one of them says, oh my God, I am never working with someone who doesn't use this from now on. Because a storyboard tells a story. And, you know, I might do anywhere from you know, if I'm going slow, 25 or 30 drawings in a day, or, you know, up to 100, 110 drawings in a day, they're not going to be Rembrandt's. But I can tell you they're perfect storyboards, because I'm telling that story, because I know every angle of everything on how you as, a, as the audience is going to react to it. And that's what makes a good storyboard, is how to visually tell that story. I had had comic strips all through college. Uh, I had them running in, in newspapers in Houston for years, and I had a whole bunch of different ones over the years. I mean, it was my first love, you know, reading Peanuts and BC and Wizard of Id, Dennis the Menace. I mean, those, those were my childhood heroes. It wasn't sports figures, you know, it wasn't movie stars. It was the guys who did the comic strips that I read every day. You know, that's why my walls are filled with originals. I mean, luckily, I've gotten to the point where these are friends of mine now, and it's, those are the only people who choke me up. It's not hard to get, get excited about working on these things because it's, it's a blast. Every day is an absolute blast.